there's no exchange for getting writing and getting on stage every day. And that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. That's see that that's why these things always get ugly, these these uh tutorials or whatever you want to call this, because everybody's looking for a shortcut or some advice. That's why I didn't take a class. No offense to the classes. But the only thing with comedy is just doing it over and over again and you gotta love it. If you don't love it, what's gonna push you to keep trying it and keep working it out? I got bits that I didn't work for five years and then I just got it working one day. That's five years. Some people don't even do comedy for five years. And that was it's an eleven second joke. Five years. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I feel you. Uh, and I actually, so in our classes, not to promote classes or anything or our classes, but that's the first thing I always say is there's no exchange for writing and performing every day. I yes. think classes, what classes do is they offer you, they should be offering you that immediate feedback so you can adapt your stuff to an audience. That's what you use it for. And then you still have to get up every night for an audience and see if that's the right, right application. And that way you yeah. also know how to work with your friends. And that's really what it is. It's like working off your friends. That's really yeah. what Yeah, it's like are. boxing. You know, like you could take the, a boxing class from the best boxing instructor on the planet. You know, what's that guy? Clamato, what's the guy who taught Tyson? Clamato, that's a yeah. drink. Customato, something like that. He can teach you every move, every hook, every duck, every slip, but you're going to get up there and you're going to start getting punched in the face and you're going to go, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? That's why you got to do, you got to get up. You got to get on stage because it's the only way because that joke bomb, now you're frazzled, you're freaking out, but you got to just pretend like you're not and then go back to that bit and then pull, pull an audible. They're liking dirty stuff. Throw the order out the, out the window, flip the order, put the dirty stuff. I mean, that's all just doing it and reps and reps and experience. Uh, what's your process for developing material? Uh, well, geez, I mean, it's again, a lot of trial and error. This is just all jokes. This is all pages of jokes that I don't know, 99% of these don't work. So for me, I have an idea that I'm passionate about or just something I'm like, this is funny. I know there's something there. I got to try it. And you get excited about it. And then, uh, I try it and I listen to, you got to tape your sets folks. I listen to it and I go, nah, that sucked. And a lot of times when I'll say it out loud, in my mind, I go, just this coming out of my face, this is not good, I can tell. Reaction or, or be damned, I can already tell just from this coming out of my mouth, this is not funny. Like, you know, you shoot a basketball and right when it leaves your fingers, you're like, that's gonna swish. You know, you, 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 you're 20 feet away from the basketball, you can just feel it. I think that's the same with humor for me, is I can just go, that's something. Even if it bombs, I go, that's something. And look, I'm not always right, but uh, I think for me, it's, you got to write, you got to sit down with it. I like to pace and uh, talk it out into a hairbrush. If anybody saw me, I'd kill myself. It's very embarrassing, but I like to talk it out because it feels more natural. And then when I get on stage, it feels less written because I talked it out. So uh, for me, it's, it's a lot of, it's an idea in the shower. Oh, that's funny. Write it out, talk it out, then bring it on stage, have it do what it's going to do. Listen, tweak, repeat. 